Here are some images that you should know for the Greek quiz later this week. This is the Parthenon in Athens. It sits atop the Acropolis and was dedicated to the maiden goddess Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Greeks developed three types of columns that we continue to use today. The simplest on the left is called Doric, while the most ornate on the far right is called Corinthian. The one in the middle is Ionic. It's the the defining characteristic is the spiral top. Here are Corinthian columns on an American bank, and here on an American house you'll see ionic columns, which you can define by the spiral tops. Greeks developed a formidable navy with boats called triremes. They were designed to cover long distances under both oar and sail and help the Greeks defeat the Persians at the Battle of Salamis. This Greek postage stamp commemorates the battle. You can see Persians in the water after being rammed by the Greeks and forced to abandon ship. ship. This is the Spartan king Leonidas before the Battle of Thermopylae. The 16th century painter Louis-Jacques David painted it, and you can find it in the Louvre Museum in Paris today. A Greek phalanx is a military formation of closed, ranked, densely packed soldiers, all with spears. It is considered to be one of the most effective and enduring military formations in ancient warfare. Socrates is one of the three main Greek philosophers that we'll study in the coming weeks. He focused on individual action and is known for the Socratic method. That's when a teacher asks all the questions. Here he is about to take hemlock, a poison, because authorities believed he corrupted the youth and should die. Finally, here is one of the great Greek sculptures. It's called the Discus Thrower and was developed by the sculptor Myron. It shows an athlete at the moment before his supreme effort, so he would appear ready and in self-control. These are some of the images you should know on the, for the quiz later this week and for the test after Christmas break. Good luck.